Hi guys, I'm a forester here. I had the privilege of attending a seminar this week on how to negotiate. Now, I used to think that I was a pretty good negotiator, but compared to Joe LaBianca, the speaker, I'm just a novice. Joe has his PhD in negotiations. Now, I'm going to try to summarize two hours of material down to four or five minutes on this video, but this information could make you money. So let's get started. First of all, you have to decide whether this negotiation is going to be a win-lose or a collaborative negotiation. Now, if you're never going to do business with this party again and nobody's watching, then you can go for the throat. Otherwise, look for a win-win solution. Joe calls it a collaborative solution. Now, two, before entering any negotiation, figure out your best alternative if you don't win. For instance, if you're selling your house and you don't get the price that you want, then maybe your best alternative is to just rent the house for a while. If you're selling your timber, since I'm a forester, and you don't get the price that you're looking for, let it grow some more. Now you have three price points that you have to determine before you enter negotiations. The first is your reservation point. This is the point below or above which you'll resort to your best alternative. The second is your target point. This shouldn't be the same thing as your reservation point, and you need to be optimistic in setting your target point. The third is your initial asking price. Now this is the highest defensible price that you can support. Okay, it's time for an example. Okay, here's my example. You want to sell your house. Now you have well over $200,000 in your purchase price plus major improvements or additions that you've made to the property while you've been living there. Now you decide that your target price is going to be $220,000 and that's based on the comps in the area and your initial sunken cost. Now at this price you may recover all of your initial purchase price plus the majority of your home improvements but not all of them. Your reservation point might be $190,000. You'll walk away from any offer below that price. So now, what is your asking price? I would say go above your target price of $220,000, and I would suggest maybe $235,000, $235,000 as your asking price. Now, it should be the highest defensible price that you can support with some data. Now you're going to stage your property and emphasize its strong points in your advertisements. So now you have a bite and negotiations begin. Here are four tips to help make you some money. Tip number one, before you make any concessions on your asking price, try to get the other party to bid against themselves. Chuckle at their first offer and say something like, you need to make a real offer to show me that you're serious. Let them know that you're already considering some serious offers for motivated buyers. Sometimes you can just be silent and they'll fill the uncomfortable silence with a follow-up offer or information that you can use. Tip number two, try to ascertain their reservation point. Both parties in a negotiation have a reservation point and the more you know, the better you can negotiate. Okay, tip number three and this is a good one. Once you start making concessions, use what's called the funneling approach. You might drop your price initially by $2,000, but when you make any further concessions, reduce that to $1,000 and then finally maybe to $500. This funneling method signals to the other party that you're quickly approaching your reservation point. Tip number four. At some point you're going to be close enough to where you can split the difference with the other party. This shows your willingness to meet in the middle. Now, if your initial asking price is high enough, your final price where you meet in the middle will be above your target price. Now, Joe gave us loads of other information that I don't have the time to cover right now, including how to negotiate with other cultures. I'll make a follow-up video if there's enough interest in this subject. Y'all take care.